Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to Phantom Strategies. So in this video, I want to cover NEM. Um, the ticker is XEM, and the pair that we are looking is to BTC. Uh, it's Saturday night, 10:30 uh, p.m. here in U.S. Eastern Time. Um, so I was thinking about just I'm just watching the market now, just scanning it through, and I was like, all right, let me <laughs> let me do a quick video. All right, uh, I'm sure a lot of people are waking up overseas right now in the Asian market and they probably uh, might be interested in this video review um, I have uh, the channel actually do have a lot of audience from overseas market from the Asian market from the European market um, Australian African market so um, so yeah so something for them to um, get started their day with on on Sunday over there um, so I wanted to just make it this quick video review for them and this is this might be a potential trade uh, opportunity and seems pretty seems pretty nice right now uh, but what we need is we really do need a overall positive market and in order to fulfill this trade in order to have the full potential of this trade uh, so NEM um, the pair against BTC uh, is fairly holding up uh, nicely right now um, so I wanted to quickly cover that so NEM is like you know it's like a you know Cardano which um, if you if you remember recently you know I made a video on that it heavily sold off and um, right at like you know about three four days ago it made that bottom had this huge spike up uh, volume barely came in uh, and now we are potentially seeing a reversal here in NEM um, so is this reversible sustainable I don't know uh, remember in the previous video I, I told you guys that any uh, breakout that I have seen so far they have been very skeptical breakouts what I mean by that is like they're breaking out but they're not following through so they're breaking out the ma major uh, resistance line uh, but they're not they're not having a follow-through of a typical breakout that happens so that being said um, there is still a trading opportunity if you do your risk management if you put your stop losses correctly and that's what we need to do in this market because in this market it's hard to gauge the direction um, no one no one can tell you for exactly sure on the direction yes there is bulls do have some moment i mean they they have everything that you know then on their side to make the case for um uh, for a bull run uh but is it going to happen um, my guess is as good as yours because uh, the probability is there but again it's it's just just like you know um if some incident like Mount uh, Gawk happen again, then a lot of investors will lose confidence in the market. So those are the things that you have to watch out for. And when the inv investor lose confidence, do you just run away and run for the hill and never come back to the market? Um, probably not. I would not actually. I would be buying more. If there is some other incidents like that happen, um, I will be buying more. Just because, you know, remember, the rule number one, uh, you know, you protect your investment. And what uh, what is the second rule? You when when others are fearful, you are you become greedy, and when others are greedy, you become fearful, right? Uh, so keep those things keep those things in the back of head. Nobody wants to see the red, but you know those create a lot of good opportunities uh, for you to like make money. All right, if you uh, but the thing is in this kind of market, I would not go without stop losses just because. If you go, I mean, you 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 can do whatever you want with your trade. Um, you don't have to like you know do anything, or you have to do follow through on whatever you want to do. So it's it's um, I'm trying to be very um, very upfront and you know just let you know that you know you have to make your own decisions. Um, this is not this is not a recommendation. This is not a uh, you know. Uh, uh, sponsoring any coin or it's not you know any anything like that but what what um what i'm trying to say here I, uh, is like you know make sure that you do your risk management properly so uh, the money that you have made in the market is constantly growing in the right direction okay um so again uh, coming back to nem 
Um, so it looks like it's trying to break out of here. Uh, the, my first target for NEM is going to be 5034. That will be my first target. Um, we need some volume to pick up. It was oversold recently and now it's trying to get back in the normal zone. Um, the MACD is about to turn uh, bullish and that's all all good sign. So this is similar to a, uh, Cardano ADA. Um, it's, it's pretty similar looking chart, you know, consistent downtrend, 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 finally bottomed out. Now we are trying to break out. Everything is trying to turn, make a U-turn and we just need to see if it's sustainable. How can we, can we know for sure it's sustainable? No, no one can know for sure for sustainable. So what can we do as a trader, as an investor, the only thing you can do as a trader and investor, and the only thing I can do as a trader and investor is manage my own trade, right? I cannot manage your trade, you cannot manage my trade, uh, so we have to make sure that we are managing our own trades and we are doing it properly. We are put, putting the stop loss properly. Maybe if you're going into the trade right now, then you probably want to put a stop loss at 3-4%. Or if you're a liberal trader, maybe you want to put it at 7%. It's really up to you. But like, you know, again, you need to know your risk tolerance, what, uh, what level you're getting in. And what if you are getting in right now for a longer trade, then you probably want to go a little bit slower. You probably just going to go with, you want to go with maybe two, three hundred. Um, if you, let's say if you have thousand dollar to invest, you probably want to go with two, three hundred dollar right now. And if it comes down 20%, may, then add another two, three hundred dollars. Um, so, you know, buy it in the phase so you get a better price average. Um, so those are the things that you really need to, um, start learning start adapting so the key is how to like adapting toward the market because in the previous video if you have been following the this channel for a while i have said it previously plenty of time that this is 2018 market is not like 2017 market and it will be not it will it is not going to be like 2017 market you have to be a, a much more active um for your trade in 2017 pretty much anything that you t touched turned into gold literally like anything you touched in 2017 turned into gold in 2018 so far it's been a, such a um, hard uh, year for like a lot of investors because they are not used to this kind of markets the, first of all they are very new to investing they haven't seen the like you know bad side of the market um, so they have only seen the like you know the heydays they only seen they only seen the good days of the market like the great days of the market they haven't seen the you know the worst um, the bad part of the market where like you know anything even the good trade that you get into will you can easily get out of them because of your stop losses and uh, or worse um, they are you're sitting in like 50 60 percent loss all right so uh, that's the that's the real problem here because a lot of a lot of the investors who got into 2017, uh, even 2016, they haven't seen the they haven't seen the like you know um, uh, other markets. You know, it's, uh, they only have seen the good days. They haven't seen the uh, truly bad days. So they they don't know how to like react to this kind of market. The best thing you can do is like protect your trade, protect your account. Uh, those are the only thing you can do. Uh, because no one really like, you know, as much you think there's like Cardano, if you think about it, it's a great project, but it's still sitting pretty down, right? Um, it's, it's it's not moving up. If I go back to Cardano, right? This trade is still moving. This It hasn't, it's not getting the momentum it needs to get out of this downtrend. Um, so, I mean, is it a bad coin? No, it's a good project. It's a very good project, good solid team. It's just not able to get out of that downtrend. There's not enough interest right now in that trade. So uh, we wait. That's the only thing we can do right now. Uh, here we are getting some momentum. So we make a trade, we make money on it, and we move on. Um, so that, those are the things that you have to do as an active trader. And you have to do that throughout 2018 because 2018 will be... Uh, will be different than 2017 so uh, I hope people are getting prepared uh, I, I don't want to scare people saying that hey this is this is going to be a bad year there is still a lot of money that you can make in 2018 
trust me there, there when you have the volatility like this in this market if you are smart enough if you are um, you know active enough you can make tremendous amount of money this uh, I and I'm not trying to over exaggerate this but it's is the fact you, you um, I have seen I have seen it witness it myself I have done it myself so it's, it's it's one of those things that you have to adapt and you have to adapt to the market condition once you learn how to adapt to the market condition and it doesn't come overnight and that's one thing i want to reiterate that it this kind of you know uh, adapting to the market condition using proper uh, you know stop management techniques it doesn't come overnight it doesn't it no it no one it, to no one it comes overnight you have to learn um, you have to do you do it yourself. You have to do it often and that's how you get comfortable It's just like riding a bicycle the more you do it the better you will get and more comfortable you will get So it's the same scenario is the same strategy um, so hope hope everyone is like uh, now understanding those things and applying to their trades so um, just to recap um, NEM is trying to break out of this downtrend um, my first target is going to be 5034, perhaps a little bit lower than that, maybe 5030 or 5025. Uh, I don't want to get too greedy and just hold on to it. But if I once the trade start moving in my direction, I will start moving that stop losses uh, in in the trade on like in, into my favor, uh, like trailing. It's called uh, the word that a um, lot of like you now um, the stock exchanges use is called trailing uh, trailing stop losses so um, you can start using those like you know keep on moving those stop losses up and you know make sure that you're taking profits okay all right so that's that's all guys that's all for uh, right now uh, let me know if you have any questions let me know any other coins that you want me to cover um, I get a lot of uh, if you have like if I see enough interest in the comment box from a lot of traders from the lot of investors um, then I will definitely like you know do that video um, uh, it's a it's a phantom community so like you know I if there is enough interest for a particular coin that you really want me to cover and um, if I see that I will I will definitely like you know do the technical analysis on that all right so I'm gonna go back to my glass of wine and <laughs> Uh, enjoy my night and um, hopefully this uh, helps you with your trade uh, if you're new to the channel please subscribe to the channel I post this content every day um, if you uh, think you this is helping you with your trade if you think you're learning something then please uh, subscribe and please give me thumbs up all right thank you